In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the special sounds we created to your easy sound module that you would have purchased from Amazon. The first thing you want to do is plug the small end of the USB cable into the motherboard portion of the easy sound module. Once you have that plugged in, make sure that you switch the little switch to on and then plug it into your computer's USB port. Now I'm going to start on a Mac here and when you plug it into a Mac, you should see a little green light show up on the little motherboard and then the drive should pop up on your desktop. In this case, it's called No Name. I think yours will say the same. We're going to open this up and what I found when I uploaded it or opened it the first time was that there was a demo file uh, that was already built into it. What we're going to do is if you have more than one, you want to select them all, but we're going to take those and we're going to drag those into the trash. So if you have more than one, just click select and drag it into the trash. Once you've done that, you have to empty the trash. So highlight the trash, right click and hit empty trash and then confirm it. Okay. If you do not empty the trash, when you try to load another file or another sound file, it'll tell you, you don't have enough space to begin uploading the actual music files. You'll need to locate the haunted radio sound pack folder in your extras folder that's located in the Haunted Radio Extras folder. So we'll double click on that or open it up and you'll notice that you have five different sounds that you can add. Now, depending on the combination of files that you add, you may be able to get two of them on there, but the little motherboard is only two megabytes. So I would recommend doing one at a time. So what we'll do, this is the actual motherboard for the sound unit. It's called No Name, that's okay. And here is the haunted sound pack. And all we're going to do is just take and click and drag one into the little motherboard. And I did notice that for some reason, and I think it's because it's a small drive on a Mac, it does take a few extra seconds for it to begin actually uploading it. So be patient. You'll notice that it's just kind of going back and forth here. And once it does whatever it's doing, it goes very quick. Okay. And you can see there it's actually uploading it. And it made the sound indicating that it's complete. And you can see that creepy sounds.mp3 is on the drive. Now let's say you want to swap this out for another one. We can take and again, take and drag it to the trash and right click, empty the trash. And we're going to confirm empty trash. And then we can take and copy another one over. So let's do this one. And we're just going to drag and drop it onto Basically what it is, is a hard drive that we're plugging into it. It's just a very small hard drive. So as you can see, this does take a few extra seconds uh, with a typical hard drive. I usually don't see this sort of delay, but for whatever reason, it is what it is. Just give it a few moments and it will begin actually transferring it over to the drive. There it goes and it's done. Okay. So now you can take and just simply unplug it from the computer. Go ahead and test it out by hitting the little button. Okay, so this time we're going to do it on a PC. So just like we did in the Mac version, make sure that the small end of the USB cable that was provided with your Easy Sound module is plugged into the main board. Next, take the large end of the USB cable and plug it into your computer and make sure that the switch is in the on position. And on a PC, this is usually what happens. You'll get a window that comes up and it will show you, in this case, it's USB drive D and you can see that we already have a file on here. So as I mentioned before, when you first plug this module into your computer, you may have one or more sample files that come with the actual speaker. So what we want to do is we want to take and delete all of them. Okay. So we can take and just drag that into the recycle bin. If you have more than one, make sure that you select all of them. Okay. And it's asking us, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file permanently delete this file? Hit yes. Okay. And now it's gone. We do want to make sure that we right click on the recycle bin and hit empty recycle bin if it's possible to do so. If not, then you're fine. Everything has been deleted. Now, just like we did on the Mac to add your sound to the little 
memory card or the motherboard on this thing, you'll want to locate the extras folder in your haunted radio download. And inside that extras folder is the haunted radio sound pack folder. We're going to open that up. And what you can do is you can take both of these windows and kind of arrange them so you can see both of them. Okay. The actual module that we're uploading to that little motherboard that's connected to the speakers over here on the left side. And these are the five sounds that we've curated for you. Okay. So we're going to take and simply drag and drop one of them onto the D drive in this case. Yours might be different. It might not be the D drive. It might be another letter, but that's okay. Okay. And just like on the Mac, it looks like it's taking a few moments for it to kind of get going, but you can see the file is being uploaded to the speaker. So we'll give that a few moments to complete. Okay. We can take, I'm going to disconnect the large cable from the computer. And I'm going to press the little button connected to the module just to test it out and make sure it's working. Okay. So that's working just fine. Let me show you that one more time. We're going to plug it back into the computer. Okay. Again, remember these are the sound packs that are part of your download and this folder that just popped up. This is the little USB drive or the motherboard as I'm calling it. So I'm going to take this now. I want to change the song. I'm going to move this into the recycle bin. And it says, do you want to permanently delete this file? You can hit yes. And I'm just going to double check here. If I right click on the recycle bin, it's not an option to empty it. So it automatically deleted it for us. It's actually a little bit, um, a little more efficient than the Mac. Now I'm going to take another one. This is the, uh, this is a waltz by Frederick Chopin. And we're going to move that one over onto the little module. And again, it might take a few extra moments just to get it over there. Just go ahead and drag and drop it on there. Okay. There it goes. You can see it now on that drive so we can unplug it from the computer, make sure it's still in the on position and press the button, give it a test. So that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to see and hear your haunted radio.